Hey everyone, this is Medic over from the Polymaker Discord. I thought since I was getting ready to print a new model from the HeForge software that's now up on printables, I would show you how easy it is to do it. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm at the printables website. We're going to go here. We're going to search HeForge. And you can see all the available models on printables with using the HeForge software. You've seen some of these already on the Discord from myself and other makers on the Discord. So we're going to go down to the cell shaded light mech, just because that's the one we did on the other video. So we're going to do the same here. So you can see uh, cell shaded light mech filament painting. We're going to click download. We're going to choose the middle model here for a size value. Let it download. And now we're going to head over to the slicer. All right, now that we have the model loaded in our slicer here in Prusa Slicer, we're going to uh, do the couple of the settings here. As you can see, I already have this set, but I will show you again. The layer and parameters, we're going to do 0 0.08 per the instructions on the details page. And first layer height is 0 0.16. This is very important for the filament painting because it's broken down by layer and the height to get the proper shading uh, based on the model. Then infill, we're going to do 100%. doesn't matter what your fill pattern is because it's 100%, so it's going to be solid anyway. Go back to our platter. We're going to slice it. I've already pre-sliced this. It will take your uh, machine a minute or two, to, uh, I say a couple minutes to slice. Uh, for the first time, after that, it will not take as long uh, to slice as you um, do the final slice. So we're going to show here as the bottom left corner. Uh, we're going to go to black, which I already have set. You can kind of tell the black. Uh, we're going to go to layer 6 or uh, 0.56. So I'm going to bring this down to 0.56. We're going to right-click the plus, add color change right here. The next color we're going to go to is gray. So I'm going to choose gray here. Click OK. Then we're going to go up to the next layer is 10 or 0 0.88 millimeters. Right click, add color change. And then we're going to go to red. So we're going to change to red. Click OK. We're going to bring it up again to the next swap, which is going to be at number 16. Again, Remember, these are all just color swaps. You, they, you don't need any MMU material system or anything special. This can be done in any printer w in the software, Prusa, Solvul, anything like that. It just you, Any printer will do this. So right-click again, add color change. The next color is going to be yellow. So we're going to click yellow, click OK. And going up to the next one, which is layer 21, which is the final, right-click, add color change, and white. Click OK. Bring your slider all the way to the top. And there's your final uh, model. So we're going to slice that again, show it all completed. There's all the cell shading you'll see in your model. This is going to take 6 hours and 40 minutes for the total. And as you can see, it breaks down in uh, the print based on color changes. The uh, total time, 6 hours and 40 minutes down here. Use filament, cost is only 43 cents, and only 17 grams of filament. Unlike a multi-material model, if you printed this in a solid piece versus the filament painting, uh, you would have much more material, much more waste. It's a major difference between an actual MMU print versus this uh, filament painting print, uh, as you've seen on how thin these models actually are and how good they actually work. So I hope this kind of helps. So now at this point, you'll essentially export the G-code, send it to your printer, and your printer will pause at each one of these layers that allow you to change the colors based on this. Uh, feel free to experiment with the colors to see what works, what doesn't work. Uh, the software will be coming out soon. It is not released currently at this time, at this recording, but it should be out within the next week or two to try it out, to, to create your own models. And again, I hope this helped. If you have any more questions, head over to the Polymaker Discord, which is discord.polymaker.com and you guys have a great evening.